In this video, we're going to learn about the Easy Draw work table when drawing pieced blocks. Drawing on the Easy Draw work table is like working with graph paper and a pencil. The same rules apply, but now you have the features of EQ that make drawing a bit easier. First, let's check the backbones of a few of the blocks in the, in the library. Each one is based on a specific grid. I'm going to zoom in so we can see this a little bit better. This log cabin is drawn with an 8 by 8 grid. Therefore, we can set our snap points to 8 and 8, or a multiple of 8, 16, 32, 40, 48. The Ohio Star uses a simple 3 by 3 grid, so its snap points can be set to a multiple of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. This Old Maid's Puzzle block uses a 4x4 four four grid, so snaps should be a multiple of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. And finally, the Bear's Paw block uses a 7x7 seven seven grid with snap points being 7, 14, 21, 28, etc. Some grids are definitely easier to see than others. If you're starting to draw from scratch, you might not know what kind of grid your block should use. So base your snap points on your block size. Snap points force your lines to literally snap. To a specific spot on the grid. These snap points will only work if you have the snap to grid option selected. We'll talk about snap to node of drawing later. Let's say you want to make a six inch square block. Make your snaps a multiple of your block size. To get half inch snaps for your block, multiply the block size times two. Now you can see our snap points are at every half inch. If you want quarter inch snaps for your block, multiply the block size times 4, giving you snaps at 24 and 24. Notice now our snap points are at every quarter inch. If you want even smaller increments, multiply the block size by 8 to get eighth inch snaps of 48 and 48. Notice when we changed from 24 snaps to 48 snaps, the number of dots on the work table didn't change. You'll notice that I should have eighth inch snaps, but there are no dots at the eighth of an inch mark right here. Why don't I see more dots when I change the snaps from 24 to 48? The snaps are actually there as they should be, but EQ doesn't draw a dot for every snap point. This is to avoid a messy work table because when your snap points get to be a really high number for more complex blocks, say 128 and, and 128, displaying all those snap points would make it more difficult to draw. Your work table would get too cluttered with dots. Watch my cursor when I try to draw a line at the 8th inch mark with snaps at 48. It works just fine. The, the snap points are there, you're just not seeing the dots. Now when I try to draw at the 8th inch mark with snaps at 24, my line jumps to the near, nearest quarter inch snap point as it should. Let's see that again. This is where our eighth inch mark should be and it's not letting me draw my line there because there is no snap point there because our snaps are only at the quarter inch mark at this setting with the 24 and 24. Let's go ahead and draw a six inch block with 24 snaps for every quarter inch. Another helpful tool for drawing blocks is the graph paper. Graph paper displays visual guidelines for your block. If I set my graph paper cells 
to the same size as my block, 6 inches, I'll know that my graph paper is at every 1 inch. And finally, make sure Snap to Grid and Snap to Node are both selected. I'll show you why in a minute. Let's start drawing. I want to draw a witch's hat, so I'm going to start at the 1 inch mark at the top and draw a line over. Just click, hold, and drag, and then release at the end. I'm going to draw my bottom line. This is going to be the base of my hat at the 5 and a half inch mark. So I'm going to click, hold, drag, and then release, and there's the bottom line. Next I'm going to draw a line from the 1 inch vertical up to 3 and a quarter inch. This is going to be the left side of my hat. Now here's a problem. My lines are snapping to the grid point since I have Snap to Grid turned on. But I want my next line, the right side of my hat, to snap to the intersection right here. Watch my line when I try to do that. it jumps to the closest snap point. Let's see that again. Try to release right over the intersection and again it jumps to the snap point, as it should do. This is where snap to node of drawing comes into play. We have that option selected already, but there's no node at that intersection. Delete that line. You don't see a node there what we need to do is create a node and to do that we simply need to click add to sketchbook. I'm going to refresh my screen and now you can see there's a node created at that intersection. This adds a node at the intersection cutting these two lines in half creating four new segments. Now if I try to draw my line again with snap to node of drawing selected it snaps right in place. I'm going to draw a couple vertical lines to make my pattern a little bit nicer. And there, my hat is done. But I might want to add a one inch ribbon at the bottom of my hat. How can I do this since there are no nodes that intersect at the one inch mark? One of the key rules of Easy Draw is that there cannot be any floating lines in your drawing. All the lines must connect or intersect with another line. So let's use that rule to our advantage here. Draw a line one inch up from the bottom of the hat. That's four grid spaces up. Two, three, four. You don't want it like this. We want it to go outside of our hat. So I'm going to undo to control Z and I'm going to draw from this snap point to this snap point. You can see the lines go outside of the hat and are kind of floating there. Those endpoints are not connected to anything. Now watch what happens when I add a sketchbook again. Refresh my screen and now those lines are gone. So let's go over to the color tab and we'll color our block. And we have a nice witch's hat block for paper piecing. I'm going to click add to sketchbook. And now let's check out the foundation pattern that it gives us. EQ automatically sections and numbers the foundation patterns for you, but you can change the section and numbers numbering if you want. Just hit start over and group the sections how you'd like. And the same thing for the numbering. And click the options tab and this is a six inch block so I don't need to change that. Now I'm going to click preview. And here we have our pattern. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson and are able to apply it to your blocks when drawing an easy draw. For further help, check out the EQ With Me Piece Drawing Book by Patty Anderson. This book is packed with tips for drawing all kinds of piece blocks, easy to advanced. You can find it at electricquilt.com.